Hi everyone, welcome back to Brook Valley Life, or hello for the first time. And today, keeping on archery, and I've bought myself a little present. Um, I wanted to get some limbs to go with my Chinese toe point uh, recurve bow, or the riser, and they've come. And today we're going to do an unboxing of the Nika C1 Cornerstone Limbs. We'll go into a bit more in depth a bit, a bit later, but I hope you enjoy. So hello, welcome back, hello for the first time to Brook Valley Life. And as I said, uh, today we're going to be having a look at the new limbs I've got. So what did I actually buy? Well, I went on... Uh, line and had a look around. Uh, I look at AliExpress and all places like that um, and I found these this company that's making limbs that look a lot like the Uka limbs. Now I shoot Uka um, HX10 Zevo 2s I think they are and 50% carbon ones so middle of the range I think when I bought them they were around $400 and that's US dollars, so not cheap, but not the most expensive ones. I love them. They're smooth, they don't stack, and they shoot really fast. Now I saw these, and I thought, well, I'm not going to spend too much, because I'm. this isn't sponsored, this is all my own money. Um, I saw these, and I thought, let's give these a go. These are like the bottom of the range, or they look like the bottom of the range eucalyms. Let's see if they shoot as well because I have shot them before from a friend, um, and they're quite cheap. They were 100, I think it was 130, yeah, somewhere around 130 US dollars, so about 100 pound. Not too bad at all for a set of limbs, and if they're any good, well, we'll see. And uh, in the future, what I might do is look at the upgraded limbs that they do, which is the uh, Nika N3. Uh, these are the C1s, the cornerstones are called. I think the progression is the, the uh, N3s. So, what did we get? Well, this is the box they came in. It's a FedEx box. Um, it's, it's okay, actually. It's not damaged at all. Um, yeah, pretty good. So it's come all the way from China, because Nika is Chinese, by the way. Um, and yeah, I've, I've just put some tape on just to cover my address. But what I'll do is we will now open them and see what we've got inside. Stay with me. I'll bring you down so you can have a look. So here we have the box. Here we close. We'll quickly open her up. As I said, these were the cheap limbs, so I don't expect anything but the limbs in here. No. Um, limb sleeves or anything. Um, nice packing and the limbs come in to the side. Uh, their own plastic sleeves and first sight they look pretty good actually. So let's take these off. This is a first look. So as you can see, these are the cornerstones, formula carbon, but it's an ILF fitting. Um, C1, Nika tree. And on the back here, or on the front, I should say. Uh, let's see if it will... Yeah, it tells you everything you need to know. Nika C1 ILF, 2568. 38 pounds so on the 25 inch riser these are 38 pound limbs this is the lower one i have seen a couple of people say that when they got them they got two uppers or two lowers but that's the lower one if 
finish on them is really, really good by the looks of it. Limb tips are a bit fatter than my ukas, but could be because of which ones they are. C1, and this is the upper. Yep, so as you can see, hopefully it says upper on there. And again, 68, 38. And the overall... So, sorry, I was uh, called away for lunch, and a very nice lunch it was. So where was I? The limbs themselves, they look really, really well made. Yep. Yeah. The limb bolts, or where they clip in, yep, yeah, they seem like good springs, they're tight. Um, it might, might seem quite innocuous these little things not being tight but uh, I had a friend who had a set of it was the limbs after the um, G3s so top of the range hoits and his uh, little pin came out that fell off and lost the spring and he tried to get new springs but couldn't find any um, so yeah so that's good just just looking overall yeah they are a cheap limb however they look as though they're really really well made and they've used proper carbon fiber by the looks of it so uh, you can see in there usually you can see on the sides there's carbon fiber but these are just matte so you can see why there's only 20 25 percent uh, carbon in them but yeah they seem good uh what I will do is just go and get another set of limbs and we can check what the curve's like between the two. So give me a second. So here we have a set of Hoyt XL limbs. Um, these are maple and fiberglass. And if we put them together side by side, you can see that there's only a small bit of difference between the two curve wise. Yeah, not a lot. So it'll be good to see how these shoot. Um, this bit here looks slightly different, but uh, again, we'll just have to wait and see how they shoot. So what I'm gonna do now is go away and put these onto my bow, and then we're gonna shoot them and see how they shoot. So I hope you enjoy and stay with me. So I'm doing a voiceover for this one. Yeah, as you can see, I've put the limbs onto my Chinese unis toe point unison bow. Everything on there now is Chinese. Um, and this is the first time I've shot the bow. I've just put the limbs on, strung it up with a string uh, that I had. It's the only one I've got, so I don't even know if the uh, knocking point's in the correct position. I just want you to hear what I hear. And I was quite surprised with this. So, just putting my... Skyline performers in first shot of the day 18 meters It is quiet and smooth Amazingly quiet. I couldn't believe it. I was really shocked actually For something so cheap these things are fantastic. Yep, they throw the arrow down. I will be checking the speed that they are doing it. And the thing to remember, this is shooting at 36 pounds at the moment. Yeah, I'm just checking my uh, tab because uh, the elastic's breaking on it. Consistent. I'm just seeing where they're hitting on the target. Difficult to see. And you can't really see it there, but there is quite a bit of wind around. I'm shooting a little bit better at the moment. Still having an issue with that front shoulder. So if anyone's got any ideas and any training I can do to keep that down and strengthen it, please let me know.
Yeah, I quite enjoyed shooting this bow today. I'm not used to shooting 68 inch bows, usually 70. But this is uh, really nice. So what I'll do is that's going to be finished with me talking. I will speed this up and we can then see what we hit. So this is 12 arrows straight out cold and nothing done to the bow and I haven't even set sight marks on this yet so that is good, consistent, I'm really happy with it. Now I did shoot a number of ends um, just to see how they go and as we can see here Yep, still shooting fantastic. Really loved it. So again, I'll leave you as it is, and uh, yep, we'll see how I finish on these last six, or seven, I think it was. Well, that's the shoot done with those new Nika Cornerstone C1 limbs. And I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. Um, I have shot the old Uka bottom of the range with, the, I think it's a 20 or 25% um, uh, carbon. And they feel as smooth as those ones. They're not as smooth as my uh, HX10 Zevo 2s, but that's 55% carbon. Um, in the future, I will look at getting the N3, I think they're called progression limbs. Um, it'd be nice if someone could sponsor me so I could get them and I don't have to pay for them because uh, I'm paying for everything. This is all out of my own money at the moment, but that's by the by. Um, but they're, they're fantastic limbs. They're so quiet. They're, I think they're even quieter than my Uka limbs. Um, what I've done, as you can see before, I'm taking some video of me shooting. That's the first time I shot. And yeah, uh, the, the noise or lack of it is amazing. Um, so if you're a beginner and you want some cheap, good limbs, that will allow you to progress through and get better and better. The Nika Archery cornerstone c1 limbs i think i paid 138 us dollars for them fantastic limb they only come in 68 inch so that's the only bad thing but there's a massive range of uh, poundage i think they go down as far as 16 or even maybe lower and up to about 50 as well so there's a big range um it only took about a week to two weeks for them to get to me from china and that's with what's happening in the world at the moment. So I think that's pretty good because I've had stuff come from uh, Australia. I'm in New Zealand, just across the ditch. And uh, yeah, it's taken over a month. Go figure. So those cornerstone limbs, absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, I, I will be shooting more and more with them. I've got both bows. Um, and when I did check them, it is they're both shooting at about 36 pound. So I can increase, especially my Uka ones, and I can increase the um, Nika ones as well to bring it up 38, maybe even 40 pounds. We can see how they shoot. They're both shooting the 600 spine 
uh, Skylon arrows that I've got, the Paragons and the Performers really well. And you'll see the targets uh, faces. And as I said, that is just bolted or sticking them straight onto my toe point unison riser, grabbing a string off another set of limbs. I don't even know if the um, knocking point is in the exact position I want it to, but it's the only 68 inch bow I had, and it's the only 68 inch string I've got. I usually shoot 70 because I'm six foot, and I always find it smoother to shoot a bigger or a bigger length bow. But those limbs, can't say enough good about them. Nika, you're doing a good job, keep it up. I'd love to try the Uriza if uh, you fancy sending it to me, because that's about 700 US dollars. So not cheap, but it looks good. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, quick review on these Nika C1 Cornerstone limbs. It's the only one I've found really on YouTube so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you will go and have a look at them and if you see someone with them ask if you can draw their bow just to feel how good they are I will catch you next time ah don't forget the dad joke is coming up in a second so dad joke of the day I told my doctor I heard buzzing he said it's just a bug going around it's getting worse catch you next time